Да, добре. Вашите въпроси. Вижте, мистер Абрагинов, българен журналист. Еди Ланак, аз съм много от Брис Тенитори, който е активен в трафикинг, в трафикинг, в in uh, Square Benizeus, in <coughs> bar, in restaurants, in uh, pub around the square. I brought you to Atawa, uh, Would you tell us uh, how many uh, traffic, traffic networks the Greece authorities smash so As far? many as in Bulgaria. Because smugglers and traffickers do not recognize borders. You can find the smugglers and the and the traffickers in Turkey, in Syria, in Greece, in Bulgaria, in Austria, in Romania, everywhere. So we need international cooperation on that. I don't know what you said before, because I'm not aware, you can ask the question to your Greek colleagues. But it's not only there. We have information that prove that uh, they work beyond and above borders. And what we do today is exactly send the message that the European Union is united. Now we have the tools, we have the policy, we have the means and the political will to fight the smugglers' phenomenon, to Crack down on the smugglers' network, but at the same time to create legal ways for the ones who want to come to Europe. So it's not as simple as you put it, maybe because you don't know the details, but uh, the reality is far away from that. It is a major problem, it, is a, it has become a, a, an international issue and a European question. And this is what we can say today. And I have to praise and commend once again the Bulgarian authorities and Rumiana here for the excellent job you have done. So, forget all about blaming others. Try to see what you can do. Even, even, even as, as media. How do you foster a European a, a, a concept and an idea of how we can address this. You know, the world has changed, my friend. We are not as we were 30 years ago with closed borders. Now we are in Europe, we have to act, think and work in a European way, as the smugglers do. They act and, uh, be, uh, and uh, operate beyond borders. They do not have passports, they do not have identity. They are scrupulous criminals, they have to be uh, tracked and taken to justice immediately because they exploit human lives and this is what counts more than anything else. Mr. Commissioner, Mr. Commissioner, one more question. Yes. Would you please comment on United Nations Secretary General vote yesterday and the position of Mrs. Ms. Kristalina Georgieva? Uh, yes, I was told last night. I can tell you what do I feel. And what I say does not represent, of course, any official position because the European Union, the European Commission is not involved. But we are lucky, both Europe and Bulgaria, we have Kristalina here. She is a prominent member of the European Commission and she has been very helpful in moving ahead on all these European policies and she is supporting very much the interest as it is obvious, although she is not supposed to do it as a commissioner. Uh, your country's uh, uh, policy uh, on all issues. So, what happened has happened. We are happy to have Kristalina with us in uh, this difficult moment for Europe and in this challenging moment for your nation. But what about Bulgaria having two candidates for the Union? It was a domestic issue. I do not uh, want to make any comment. And I don't really know how many you had. But Bulgaria has many prominent 